Hello everyone, Palliates, I'm here. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. We're gonna continue our secret achievement escapades in Act 2 because it seemed like you guys liked the last video a little bit. Now, the editing is gonna be a lot easier in this one because there's a lot more secret achievements to get in Act 2, so I thought we would break it up a little bit more. We're still going to continue our telekinesis trickery. I liked that one comment that someone left. It said, this had more cheese than a double cheeseburger. <laughs> I thought that was pretty accurate. Yeah, so we're gonna keep that going. So we're gathering up all of the barrels on top of Lady Vengeance, and we're just going to be throwing those into the chest. Of course, we could pick up everything if we really wanted to. I don't think that's super necessary. I feel like um, adding in, you know, 60 pounds at a time with this is, is pretty liberal. Uh, our telekinesis is, I think, at level four with Fane. Yeah, level four with Fane right now. And we can increase that with armor that we find in Act 2 as well. I also want to keep out an eye for some lock picking, some persuasion gear, because our combat gear doesn't really matter as much when we're doing this kind of cheesy ass combo. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the first video as much as you did. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. And... With that being said, I think it's time to leave the Lady Vengeance. We're going to be doing some things today that I've never actually done in my time in this game. Obviously, because we don't have the secret achievements. Uh, but we're going to be completing some of the things over in the graveyard that I have never done before. At least that's my plan for the start. There's also some achievements that we can get as town as well. But... Um, well, this is just free XP, right? So, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, there was no XP. I just killed a shark. Oh no, where she's gonna be taken? This looks horrifying. This guy doesn't have a health bar. I would have killed him with our box. This actually has to happen. I never realized that. You can't intervene at all. I actually made great time just running up. Why did I get my turn skipped? Hello? What is this? Well, you guys fucked up. You should have given me a turn. Wait, did these guys explode? <gasps> okay. Yeah, we're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> hey, we got our first level in Act 2. And killed all the enemies of the first fight in about two seconds flat. The cheese is just getting stronger. <laughs> what happened here? I finally replaced my starting boots. <laughs> it just took nine levels. This is one of my favorite bugs. I don't really know why. The bridge is down and now it's out. That doesn't sound promising. All right, so we can sneak into the graveyard pretty early on by jumping down here from the walkway. I'm sure most of you know this. Uh, we just have to kill some Void Woken on the road, and this guy's mom will be very happy with that. Normally, I would rob her blind, but I don't really feel like I, I need the you. materials too okay. much. Hey, I'm nobody. Don't you worry about me. We'll give the box to Fane. And we'll kill Void Woken in record speed. I want to steal her barrel, but I think... After this fight is over, she just lets you rummage through all of her things because she's so grateful that you saved her. I'm fairly certain. Our telekinesis is getting out of control. Oh my goodness. You want to talk about it? Mari flashes a massive horsey smile at you. Then a horsey smile? Left now we just need to sneak ourselves into the graveyard. And of course, the easiest way to do that is to just jump in the graveyard. You could try to lock the pick on the on the gate. Uh, we don't have the skill necessary to do that. So we just used our tactical retreat to jump inside. And then we're going to have to use it one more time. So there's a dead guy in here that we have to dig up somewhere that's going to give us our first secret achievement as soon as we jump again. So it's this guy saying, let me out, please. Our wits are high enough to see it. I don't know what your wits have to actually be, uh, but you can hear him talking as you approach. If we, you help him down here. This magnitude shouldn't be cursed to live like this. Can you, can you dig me up? Absolutely. Don't worry. There's nothing funny about me. 
I'd be happy to, bud. You okay? The skeleton tries to brush the dirt from his clattering bones, then frowns. The moistest bits are still stuck in his cracks and crevices. Thanks. You're probably looking for a reward, but I haven't got much. Except, you know, the wisdom of the ages. I mean, that could be valuable. He pokes a finger against his ossified head. I'm a bit of a philosopher, you see. Not much else to be, what with all that thinking time. You don't talk like any philosopher that I've ever known. I mean, that's a little judgy, but we'll say it anyway. Are you questioning my intellect? You think you say more sooth than me, a verified soothsayer. The skeleton pauses and sighs, then straightens his spine with a clatter. A soul bond will settle it. A battle of wits. Then the cosmos itself will decide who can better face the truth of our own essence. Me or you. A weak soul may not survive the bond. Now, I have talked to this guy on previous playthroughs before, and it didn't end very well for me. Basically, he's going to give you some trivia questions, as far as I know, and if you get him wrong, he just kills you. But I'm sure you'll be just fine. Uh, yes, let's do, I'm just going to say cock your head. Is he saying this battle could prove fatal for you? We already know that. It is dangerous, is it not? I find it to be true anyway, even when you're battling your own mortality. The angst can prove terminal to the weak-willed. Uh, what does a soul bond entail? Oh, it's easy. We link up souls and share our innermost beliefs. Think of it like an innocent little duel. The winner remains comfortable with their personal truths. The loser, well... A chance to show off this know-it-all? I accept! Oh, how fun. Just touch this bone on my ribcage here, right over where my heart would be, if... Well, you know. You reach for the rib in question, but nothing feels different. Not until you try to pull your finger away and it remains glued to the bone. Gross. All right, mister. Deep thought. First up, our purpose in life. I say it's to accumulate knowledge. Pretty great answer, eh? Can you do better than that? Well, the easiest way to solve this little conundrum that we find ourselves in is to simply together. answer with all of the undead answers. Shrug, do your empty skull contain brains? How deep could his thoughts possibly be? A shattering shiver passes through the skeleton's body from toe to head, then back again. Well, that... Hmm, I... Um... Let's just move on to the next question. <laughs> Tell me, Sammy Smarty Pants. Is there such thing as free will? I say no. The gods guide our every move. I dare you to outsmart me now. Say that you're more curious about how the two of you manage to converse... Without voice boxes. <laughs> oh, oh, gods, I, I can hardly bear to. All right, all right, I need to get a hold of myself. The skeleton hangs his head low, then yanks it upwards again. One last query. Is there a difference between right and wrong? The truth is that there is not. Only action and consequence. Oh, -ho, I got you there. Say, the only thing that seems wrong here is that the two of you can move, yet possess no muscles or ligaments. You feel the bond break between your finger and the skeleton. You pull your hand quickly back to your side. I can't bear this, this existential agony. What have you... <laughs> existential crisis secret achievement number one for the day has been... Unlocked. Where did he dr Mass corpse explosion! Fuck yeah, dude! Dude, I was literally just leveling up Seb Sabile, I still don't know how to say her name, to be Pyromancer Necromancer for this exact skill. Dude, thank you. So I think before we really try to finish off some of these quests, we are gonna need to get Spirit Vision. So that just means I'm going to have to uh, progress the main story just a tad. Excuse me, Magisters. Do they drew their weapons? 
What about the happy heat? Unacceptable! Unacceptable! No one draws their weapon on fade! Where is my box? This isn't a kill everyone playthrough, but I don't know. <laughs> they. Worms take you. This is a kill these guys playthrough. <laughs> So to get spirit vision, the easiest way to do that is going to be saving the Meister. Please. And of course, the easiest way to save the Meister is to uh, drop a box on her captors. Of course, everyone knows that. Do they have to be hostile for me to do this? You know what? Let's pick up the barrel and we'll put that in the box to make it even more effective. She gave a little whistle. Uh-oh. I thought she was going to whirlwind and legit just kill the Meister. She only has 14 health. Okay, well, let's wrap this up pretty quick. I have places to be. You know, we're going to need to get a little bit of source of power unlocked in order to progress the main story, right? Because you're not really supposed to leave Act 3 until you have all of that done. Um, but, but, I actually think we could just go kill the demon right now? Is that a bad idea? I don't know. I quick saved. I guess we'll find out. I guess, I guess we'll find out. I'll just go ahead and touch this. Beautiful. Burning void woken. The stink upsets me. I don't know why. It bothers me that Fane doesn't even have a nose and he can smell, but I can't. It really bothers me. All right, so we're up at the northeast corner of the map here. Usually this is where you go kind of towards the end. It's like level 15 enemies. Uh, we're only level nine. I don't Looks think like this that matters. Much better. I'll, like I said, I'll quick save here and we'll see how it goes. There's a giant um, demon here putting decay on everything in the area, which kind of sucks. But um, I, I'm just going to cruise on through and use my double cheeseburger to kill everything. Hopefully. So, yeah, we see our noxious blooms up here again. Normally, I would use these to our... Oh, my God. Normally, I would use these to our advantage, but uh, we're fighting undead enemies, so poison to po poison to undead uh, doesn't, doesn't really do much for you. It just benefits them. Normally, it would benefit me as well, but we have decay on us because of the area here. So I am just going to light this poison on fire. Hop back into stealth and just kind of let that fade. And then all we need to do is... Hmm, huh. this is actually interesting. All we need to do is get close enough to the demon to be able to drop a chest on it, right? So probably the easiest way to do that is to head up this hill. I cannot believe we're doing this level 11. Head up to this hill, hop up, then invis. Run this way. We probably didn't need invis that early, but you know, I did it. Whatever. We got 5,000 XP for just discovering this. And now uh, we just dropped the chest on him, right? Combat started. We're second in the turn order. Hopefully he doesn't just kill me. Oh, he teleported up to me. Okay, let's try that one again. Not good. This isn't good for me. Fuck. Nope, that's a nope. Jeez. There we go. Now, are you just gonna go up top? Okay, that's a good teleport. Can you hit me from there? Poison dart on the ground. Shit. Shit. I really wanna do this. I'm being so stubborn about it. Okay, here's the plan. We can do this. I promise. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, we are going to go back to the boat. We're going to use this item on Fane. Actually, we could just teleport back to the boat, right? Okay, so we'll go back to the boat, and I'm going to respec slightly. Why did you come with me? That's so fucking irritating, actually. You, you know what? You, just, you stay there! 
All right, all we're going to do is drop one point from ranged skill, I think. And put that point into Necromancer. Of course, we get two points because we are on Lone Wolf. And now we're going to go to town. Uh, Pout and Bridgehead is probably closest. Uh, Death Wish? Yes, living on the edge. 1,200? What? I guess you can have Alexander's cloak. I'm good for the rest. Uh, but with this one ability, I should later, be though. able to kill that level 15 boss, hopefully. So what Living on the Edge does is just makes it literally so we cannot die for two turns. It is that easy. So we're going to unequip Bless, equip that, and um, teleport back to the red pyramid. There we go. And we'll give this one more try. Okay, I'm just gonna attack right away. Fight has started. We have two turns of death immunity. What are you gonna do now, big man? <laughs> I barely even felt that. I barely even felt that. Source vampire. I guess I do have a little source. I mean, I don't need it. You can have it. How much AP do you have in this turn exactly? Okay, seriously, how much AP do you have in this turn? God. I need aid. Yeah, you fucking, you need something. I don't know if aid is gonna be enough. Okay, transfer, drop. Not enough space. I'm worried about that error actually. Like, does this count as moving over his hitbox? No, we need to move it to the other side. Hey, 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 boys, that was a level right there. Okay, let's move it back behind this guy. Nice and easy. <laughs> Wait, where's the last guy? Oh, shit. Shackles of pain, huh? Shackles of pain, huh? What did we... Oh, we healed from leveling up. Oh. Okay, so I need to move the chest back up to high ground. Move the chest up to even a higher ground. Here, I guess. Then move it even higher. And... Well, I guess Fane died, but you know what? I'm still pretty happy with how that went. I don't, I don't mind that at all. Did I pick up that pyramid? Oh, please tell me. I'm, oh, I did. Oh, thank God. Okay, everything's fine. I don't hate anything. With that level up, we can get our telekinesis up to five. Is five the max or is six the max? I'm really not sure, actually. We're going to put that point back into range now that we leveled up and continue to increase our wits. This is also increasing our crit chance as well as our turn order initiative. We are going to add another point. It's Lore Master for our item identifier, another point in Necromancer, and max out intelligence. Now, because we killed that demon, we should be able to jump right over here and be like, yo, succubus lady, spoiler alert. I did that you thing for you. All right, we helped her out. We have an extra source capacity. One more and we can technically leave the act. Although I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. <laughs> wow, she went from no helmet to way overdoing the helmet so quickly. <gasps> Gear that increases our telekinesis even further. Are we at six? <laughs> okay, I've never done this one. There's an outhouse here in town. What was in the blasted stew? Occupied! Oh! Unholy hells. Are you all right in there? Do I, oh, do I sound like I'm all right? It's what I get, bloody tainted stew. What, what was in the tainted stew? Made us a little, no, oh, fish into some of my stew. 
bloody macro must have been tainted. Save me, Lucian. <laughs> So that lets you learn how to make the tainted like stew, which I'm, I never even like, I never walked over there. There was no reason to walk over there because the path out of town here is broken. But now that you have that recipe, you just need to find yourself a tainted fish. There is a vendor in town that of course sells quite a bit of them. But you can also just find them all over the place. Like, there's one for free. For some reason, that one was not stealing. So I'll go ahead and take that. And then we just need to make some tainted stew. Now, I think if we talk to Prudence here, the lady behind the bar. A prim woman in a starched apron wipes a glass with a clean rag. We should be able to buy meaty stew from her. Thank you very much. Blessings upon our Lucian. I'll take my leave now. Now, if we combine this tainted fish with the stew that we just purchased, we should be the proud owner of the tainted stew made with only the freshest of the void woken fish. There's a particular patron in the bar that, well, we can pay a little visit to here. Garvin. Oh, finally. Your colleague over there is absolutely useless. Well, isn't he just a treat? I'll have a bowl of the house stew, if you please. Yeah, offer him the tainted stew. Tell him this batch is especially worthwhile. Mm, it smells truly divine. And with that, the secret achievement debt in the pot has been unlocked. I wonder what's going to happen to him, though. Garvin tastes the stew, then begins spooning it into his mouth. He sighs with pleasure. His eyes go wide. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Something isn't right. I need to go. Move. My stomach. Now, what I really wonder is what would have happened if I blocked that door. Wait, how long was my quick save? Oh, I already sold. All right, the world may never know. Can we talk to him while he's in there? Go away! What was in that stew you gave me? <laughs> I swear, if I could, uh, if I weren't, ah. Uh, uh, Leave him to his condition. Good luck, bud. Good luck in there. They sell a necklace for two grand here. It gives plus one telekinesis as well as Warfare and Finesse. So actually it's itemized perfectly for our character. Um, I don't, I'm not super excited about spending two grand for it, but I'll go ahead and pick that up. In the basement of this bar, if you're of the scoundrel persuasion, you should be able to make your way down here. I'd very much like to go downstairs. No, I'm actually looking for Lohar. He grins unpleasantly. Loha didn't tell me to let anyone of your description in, so why should I? I was here last night, though, don't you remember? Cute. So something... Yeah, well, what if I just click hey. on the door? Might be your pawn to end up down there later. <sighs> okay, you see you later. Oh, that took AP each time. There. Okay. I wasn't going to kill him, but fine. I, I guess I'm going to kill him now. This is also the scoundrel uh, trainer in Driftwood. So if you are looking to get some scoundrel skills, which I could have used one or two, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe actually read the dialogue and don't do this. Look at that. This is one of the most impactful NPCs in the game, actually. And there is a secret achievement to have a little bit of an interaction with her. Unfortunately, I think I just stole something from in front of her by clicking, but that, that, that was an accident. I'm sorry. Hello, how are you? Hail, darling. Call me Dorothea. She draws you in, her lips dangerously close to where your ears once were. Mm. Oh, yes. I have something that you want. But I only bargain with those I deem deserving. Those who have accomplished great things. So, tell me. I actually don't know if we can talk to her yet. Are you worthy of my gift? Um, insist that I am the champion of the Fort Joy Arena. Indeed. This is acceptable. You are nearer the one than most self-described heroes I've known. So, tell me, are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? 
Uh, you seek answers to questions asked aeons ago. You'll doubt you find them from a mortal strumpet. No, I don't want to dissuade her. Um, <laughs> I like the scholar one. Uh, I'm just going to say my greatest desire. How could you possibly grant such a thing? I can't. Not yet. First. You must look into my ring. Yeah, I'll do it. What... Gaze into the gem, my lovely. She flashes her ring at you, and you stare at the luminescent stone at its center. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colors and fuzzy images. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... So you could talk to her to try to get more of your primary stat. And that is fine, actually. Um, let me look up what each of these is. Obviously, strength is pretty straightforward. Uh, the most powerful one is the last one, but there's a way around it so you can get two buffs. So if you select number one, you'll receive two strength. Two is two intelligence. Three is 2,000 gold, uh, four is two wits, and five is the most busted item in the game, and I would highly, 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 highly recommend everyone get it. Now, of course, we're cheesing the shit out of this particular playthrough. Uh, so what I'm going to do is say four because I want those plus two to wits. Remember, that increases our initiative in battle as well as our critical head chance. Mm, yes, I see you clearly now. Mm, now she's gonna wander kiss. off. She wants a kiss. Accept her deal. Most delicious. She'll. She's gonna ask you to meet her around the corner, and uh, when she gets there, if you haven't seen this before, you might be in for a surprise. So she's in this creepy ass area, over on the left hand side. Completely surrounded by webs and skulls and a dude locked in a cage that has died. <laughs> Not really the place you want to go to to make out with a beautiful lady, but you know what? I'm into it. Let's talk. Dorothea sees you and heaves a shuddering sigh. She bites into her lower lip with enough force that a drop of blood seeps out. Blood and something else. Something green. Darling, I admit I wish we could share more carnal pleasures yet i think a kiss is the height of intimacy but i'm afraid i can't bear to press my lips against such a bony caricature of a face get yourself masked up and the carnality can continue oh shit i had no idea she would not kiss fane okay well we could just put on our mask of many faces and I think I'm gonna be a human for this one. And we shall try again. Your fingers. Hey! Most excellent. This is a visage I can get on board with. Let me feel your lips on mine. You draw closer and close your eyes, eager to feel her lips on yours. Yet her lips do not press against yours, and her hands do not caress your face. She is a woman no longer. But a wear spider. God, the textures on that look so cool. Yeah, this is fucking terrifying shit. But you know what? I'm still going to make out with that. I'm okay with it. So that, if you didn't have the achievement already, would give you kiss of her the spider into your woman. You Which all you have to do words, is kiss her. And, uh, and that's it. But you could take this a step further you if you really want to. Um... Remember this moment. Bow your head and take your leave. That was great. Thank you so much. Uh, however, we are going to attack her. Because you could take this a step further. Bye. Uh, hello? What the fuck? We're in her little area. Is she just immune to poison damage? Is it because it does poison damage? I don't... I don't understand. Hey, she felt that one. <laughs> so, if you kill her, she drops the item that you could get for the fifth choice there. You thought it was over. And the How item allows her to return see, to life. 
This is one of the most overpowered items in the entire game, and I highly recommend that you get this on all of your characters. It's the Ashen Idol of Rebirth. How this works is while it is in your inventory, you can combine it with a resurrection scroll, and if your character dies, they will come back to life, especially on honor mode. I know this kept my game going for a really really long time. You can do this on all of your characters. So if you have a four man party, all of a sudden you have four resurrection things in combat. It only takes one AP to recombine a resurrection scroll into the idol of rebirth to bring your character back to life. And you can get four on your characters, kill her again to get a fifth. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Although uh, I, I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble Locked. with that. Can I pick this up? Steel. <laughs> I don't care what's inside. Just put it in that box. Dope. All right, team. I've been recording for about an hour and a half to get this video done for you. This one should be much easier to edit, and there's still more to do in Act 2. So I'm going to knock out some more of that very, very soon. I'm heading out of town this week, so I wanted to have some videos ready to release on the channel since I won't be streaming, and this is the easiest way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are going to give our buddy Mortis a little visit because there's a secret achievement we can work on over there while we're still leveling up our character. That's why I didn't knock out some of the ones over on the east side. It's because I actually need one more social skill to make this pretty easy, uh, and I don't quite have the XP for that just yet. Looks like we're about to be found out as a sorcerer and I'll have to uh, kill some magisters. See you guys next time after I squash these guys with a box. Fuck. There we go. Everything. Wait, no, don't shoot them. That costs so much AP. Just smash it with... Thank you. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Wonder if I should have gone invisible. Can you kill me? I don't have any health. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay, bye.